Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, sorry. So I would invite him right now. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. A significant moment that we are watching there, of course, this coming in live for the US President Donald Trump and the North Korean leader Kim Jong-un at the DMZ on the demilitarised zone there on the border between North and South Korea. A very short handshake meeting, but that was as to be expected. Uh, we had heard from Donald Trump previously saying that it is going to be very short, virtually a handshake but that's OK. Handshake means a lot. This is the third meeting, of course, between Mr Trump and Mr Kim in just over a year. You'll remember their first summit since... Uh, uh, well, the first, actually, since the, the summit in Vietnam, which broke down back in February. So another significant moment here that we are watching. I, I do want to bring our panel back into the, the conversation here, and thank you so much to both of you for your patience. Um, we will keep up these live pictures. We have Ebony Bennett, uh, who's live with us in, in Canberra and Evan Mulholland live with us in Melbourne. Um, Evan, perhaps I can just get your thoughts. Um, a, again, a, a significant moment that we are watching here, the third meeting between the two. In your opinion, I mean, what, what is really the significance of this, this handshake? It, 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 is, it is really significant to see, uh, you know, the, the President of the United States shaking hands with the leader of North Korea, uh, I get a bit worried about these kind of situations. North Korea is, is not a nation to kind of be friendly with. Um, I, I really hope, uh, as Scott Morrison said, that it, other G20 leaders can help with the assistance of Alex Sigley, uh, an Australian who's, who's gone missing uh, in, in North Korea. I fri find that deeply concerning, uh, and especially considering all the other human rights uh, violations of North Korea, I just don't think we should be putting this nation on a pedestal as, uh, as we have been around the world. Ebony, your thoughts, I guess, on, on the moment that we are watching here and what happens next? What do we need to see, I guess, happening between the two leaders next? I tend to agree with Evan, uh, the way that Donald Trump talks about North Korea and... Uh, the chairman, I think, is very problematic. Having said that...